Warning, the following clips might be harmful to some viewers. And explicit content is included. Viewer discretion is advised. Watch this. Talib reaches in. Grabbed a go chain. Yeah. And ripped it apart. Crabtree is in disbelief. He's actually showing his teammates yeah, what he did. Not what he did. So I was playing. He was thinking about that. Hands right around his ankles. Oh, we have a fight on the other side. Look at this. After Crabtree. Helmets being thrown. Tlaib grabbed it off. Referee is down. And look at holding on to his ribs. Well, that started with the block. That was Crabtree on a keep to leap. Remember, there's some history between these two guys, and I think that's really where the fight started. Crabtree actually blocks him. Off Look at the we, field. Got, we have another one right Look here. Look at this. Oh, and a swing just, right well, there. This is crazy because now you're going to get injected from the game. I mean, this is just selfish. When when your own self interest are more important than the team, then you put yourself and your team at risk, and that's just that's terrible. You just can't do it. You got to exercise some self control. During last week, moments ago, here's what happened. Yeah, I think this. Look, watch, watch this block. Look, and it doesn't stop there. Wow. I mean, you, you just knew that this was going to happen. What's up, guys? It's Football Junkies 365 coming at you with a, with a video. Now, as I was watching the Saints and Rams get it on in the Coliseum on CBS, I got a notification feed that these two, these two, these two grown. Grown men get it on, get it on again. Akeem Tlaib and Mr. Um, Michael Crabtree get it on again. And guess what? These two men, who are 30 plus years of age, I think Michael Crabtree 29, 30, but Akeem Tlaib is way over 30. These two grown men get it on again for a chain, a chain. You are two grown men getting on with a chain. Now, as I'm seeing the video, I'm seeing that Akeem Tlaib did the same thing he did last year. Ripping off my Crabtree chain, doing a, doing a, um, um, doing a route that he's trying to run. I mean, for God's sakes. I mean, I don't give a damn what y'all beef is. You know what? The Broncos are 3-7. and seven, The Raiders are 4-6. and six. These are two losing teams. These teams are losers. These teams are suckers. These teams... Ain't crap because you know why y'all ain't crap because y'all just home to losers. So when you're losing in the National Football League, you're following a petty crap. And guess what? You know what to keep to leave up is saying right now? He's saying that he don't give a damn about his team. He just gives a damn about Michael Crabtree's jury. Why do you give a damn about his jury? Where Keith to leave, you could buy 15 times the jewelry that Michael Crabtree has. We seen him at, at, at the press conferences wearing his own jewelry, own bunch of jewelry, and you were wearing my another man jewelry. You know, these are type of things that just gets me up, up in arms. I mean, for God's sake, he play, he play, he play a playing a professional football game. You got kids watching. You got kids looking up um, to y'all too, and, and y'all too act like idiots. Now. I, if, you, if, if, if somebody were to ask me to pick a side, I'm going to pick a Keith Tlaib side. You know why? Because Khalid, uh, uh, Keith Tlaib is an instigator. He's been an instigator of his whole National Football League tenure. He's had beefs with Steve Smith. If you don't recall Monday Night Football in 2013, Steve Smith, Corey Patterson, Keith Tlaib, a Keith Tlaib, um... You know, try to um, own Steve Smith on national um, television. Steve Smith owned him. Steve Smith was put in his, um, um, yeah, I'm um, sorry. Akeem Tlaib was put in his place. He's had problems like this in Tampa. He's had problems with this with New England. And this is the second straight year in a row. This guy is, is being a problem, being just an absolute instigator. Absolute instigator. You know, and, 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 and again, I, I just told you that these two teams have a combined seven wins in the season. Seven wins and a combined 13 losses. These two teams are losers. These two teams have nothing to play for. And, and, when, and then when this happens, 
when this happens, when teams are not winning, you have guys playing selfishly, you have guys playing emotionally rather than playing smart, you know? Like, you know, Michael Trapp, she's just run, trying to run a route and a key to lead was to, you know, hey, you know, I'm three and seven, I'm three and seven, I got another play for, we, we're on a six game losing streak, I'm just gonna rip his chain off. I mean, for God's sakes, I mean, you're a grown man. Get your, get your mind right. And I really don't like that one player takes it, uh, takes it on himself to um to um to, to, to put the outcome outcome of the game on him. For God's sake, you are a starting corner. You and Chris Harris hold down the um the no fly zone. The, you didn't think about the no fly zone when he ripped um Michael Crabtree's chain off. Um, Akeem, you didn't think about the no fly zone. You thought about yourself. And that's one thing I like about football. Players think about themselves. It is a 22-man game out there. And you're the only one thinking selfishly. So when I said I, when I, said I picked a key to leave side, I picked this side because he, he is the one that should suffer some ramifications out of this. Because you are, you're sitting up there on TV trying to instigate be for the grown man. Try to show him up on TV, and as for Michael Crabtree, I don't, I don't blame him not one bit for doing what he did. Because when another grown ass man try to attack you, you better tell that man that ain't gonna happen. You better tell that man that you out here to play football and you out, you're gonna be out here to respect me. And Michael Crabtree deserves respect. That 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 man is a consistent playmaker for the Raiders and Niners. Despite the Raiders' roles this year, Michael Crabtree is a consistent playmaker. He's a great number two receiver. He's good enough to be a number one on most teams. And he has every right to go and attack the key to leave. He has every right. But for God's sake, you two are grown ass men fighting over some chains. Y'all need to get your act together and your teams are losing. And there has to be a game stoppage of, you know, a key, of YouTube just fighting over a goddamn chain. I'm just going to take the damn chain off and win the damn game. Because y'all haven't done that in a while. I mean, you just knew that this was going to happen. Everything gets routed by the goddamn Patriots are in international soil in Mexico. And then you got damn the Broncos losing to the goddamn Bengals of all teams. You losing to the Bengals? The Broncos have put up this year historic losing streaks in their franchise's history. And you sitting up here fighting over the damn chain? This is the losing culture of the National Football League when you have to fight over petty crap like this. And as a football fan, or as a guy who's been involved with football in my life, I'm just deeply disgusted by all the actions put on, on the field today. A key to lead, you need to grow the hell up and get your team out the slump. And you're lucky that you even come back and play a game this season. And as for Michael Crabtree, he's been targeted his career. I'm not saying that he's a saint. Richard Sherman tried to come at him early in his career, and now that this guy, number 21, has come at him. And I'm not saying that he's a saint. But as for Michael Crabtree, I don't know. I don't know what to say about Michael Crabtree, man. But I'm on Michael Crabtree's side with this one if I were to pick sides. I think these are two grown men that need to think better than what they're thinking. I think that they need to stop playing selfishly. I think they, need to, they just need to grow up. You have kids out there on, on, on the TV screen watching. Two grown ass men fighting over the damn chain. But this is just the losing culture of the National Football League. When your teams are losing, you got players just fighting over chains. And it's disgusting. So anyway, that was just kind of my two cents to the video. Um, both these guys got ejected, of course. And Akeem Tlaib has been ejected um, in, 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 in a couple games in his career. That's for Crabtree. I believe this is his first. But, uh, there's gonna be a, there's definitely gonna be an update video to this video. 
and um, of course it's four o'clock. <laughs> I don't put. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't put all my two cents in this video, and um, I took time out my day to um talk about this, and this is gonna be something that I'm gonna um touch on later. This is gonna be an update video. Okay, um, so I'm gonna sign out here. If you guys like the rant, you can give me a like below. Comment below on who side you take. You take the keep side or you took Michael Crabtree side. Which side did you take? And how do you feel about these players fighting over a goddamn chain? Let me know in the comments below. If you like it so much, share with your friends. Let your friends know about these two men fighting over a piece of jewelry. And if you want to see more from this channel, subscribe. For more content, I put on Hello My Name Is every week. I talk about football, topics, statistics, um, you know, all the nine yards. So anyway, like the video if you like it. Share the video if you really liked it with your friends. Comment down below on what you guys think about the situation. And subscribe for more content. And this is Football Junkies 365 checking out. Enjoy the rest of the games today. And I will see you soon with another reaction video. Take care.